A busy program. We're live across the country on our yeah, The uh, votes are, are being counted right across uh, the country. To our state. coverage of the results of election 2020. I'm going to be Support among young people and anger at a housing crisis that has priced many. An interesting first timer. Well, but first of all, we want to bring you some of the counts that have been coming in. I think we can take a look first of all. I decided to put my money where my mouth was and go for it myself. And it was a big leap of faith. I guess instead of shouting about it, you know, on the sidelines, I decided I'd join a political party and see if, you know, we can make change locally in the Midlands. I've never been political. I grew up being involved in my community and didn't know it. Such pity that somebody doesn't do something or you know and then I was kind of like oh well if I don't do it well who will do it and and you can make a change if you would like to get involved I'm community based and it's about getting work done on the ground that's um, and when I spoke to them and they said that look you can have an impact here you know you have been involved you have you know the the network there of people to work and you can make a change if you would like to get involved. This is where um, the County Council meets monthly. Uh, the structure of the County Council, we have our CE, our Chief Executive. Underneath him, him then we have four Director of Services. And then we have all the corporate and admin staff and outsourced staff. There's hopefully about 600 people working within the organisation in Westmead County Council. And then, from an elected member point of view, there's 20 elected members here who sit around the tables here, around the room here today. 20 elected members. So that's divided up then. There's 11 elected, elected members in the Mullingar Kinnegad district, and there's a nine elected members in the Athlone Moat district. I saw there were so many things going wrong, so many things that I would change if I was, you know, somehow elected. And so, it, again, it was a case of, right, well, I need to, you know, rather than just kind of um, talking the talk, I need to try at least to walk the walk. So I decided uh, two months before the actual election that I might go for it. Um, everybody was saying, you know, Louise, you know, your name is coming up. I can see you on the tickets, you know, and, um, and, and then physically when you're looking at ballots that have a number one beside your name, like it's unbelievable, like, you know, this, somebody physically went in there and put a one and not only somebody, like, you know, 300, 400 people did it. Um, it's unbelievable. The year that I did decide to run for election, I had 120 kids that were sitting CSP as an exam subject. And how could I be telling them, you know, that they needed to make a difference and that they could make a difference and that I wasn't going to nearly show them that they didn't have that role model or even just awareness, making people aware and trying to get a connection. And I suppose that's where I felt I was very strong. I had that local knowledge, I had that background of people and I could be that link and that connection maybe or that people would think that I was quite approachable and say oh well you are involved or they'd see me at football training or they'd see me at wherever it was around the town and that they could actually come and say oh can you help me with this because they always were. Driving into our yard I was milking and he says are you going to do a bit of canvassing? I was after buying a new finger bar more for the tractor and my mother kept at me, you better make a few shillings to pay for that, of course, after getting the loan from the ACC to buy it. The day the count came, and my mother said, you better get on that tractor and make a lot of money. And I went off mowing meadows for the whole day of the count until about half five that evening. And the next thing, Charlie Fagan drives in, you better come into Mullingar, it looks as if you'll be elected. And that was the start of my journey in political life. There were very few other people like me there. And that was always another reason why I wanted to get involved in politics because I didn't see very many people that I could identify with as a young woman. And I walked in to find out that I had been elected and it was amazing. It was honestly one of the proudest moments of my life because it was such a shock and I was so humbled by it because to think that many people put their faith or their um, their hope in me that I could represent them and, and do a good job on their behalf was, as I say, really humbling and um, a, a huge privilege. So I, I never take that for granted since I've been elected. 
more recently, or in the last three, four years, I set up an initiative called the Junior Mayor Initiative um, for schools, and that's, that's working really, really well. Um, and the, the whole concept of this is that you encourage, you encourage young people to have a say, to have their voice. Hi, I'm Eve Carroll, I'm Junior Mayor at Athlone Community College. Uh, I have a huge interest in women in politics. I do believe everyone should be equal and everyone should have a voice. We are all from different backgrounds, from different cultures. Put our views and points together and become, like, make something really great. Like you can see um, in the middle of any of our high streets how derelict the main street is. And me being an architect and interested in heritage buildings, you know, um, I felt that there's a lot that I could you know, that I wanted to see change and I hope that people who have like women or people from different backgrounds who don't see themselves represented here, like know from my story that, you know, you can go for it and people will support you. That's the big thing, you know. So I remember going to my mum and saying, and she just said to me, Emily, no regrets. And that, that was the mantra I said, look, fuck it. Go try it, see how it goes. And um, I suppose I'm lucky with the women in my life. They're very, very strong and they will be very independent. And um, I said, if I'm ever to give my own kids, you know, lead by example, she look, I have nothing to lose. We're very lucky in our chamber here that we're in that, you know, when you look at these empty seats, it doesn't portray the people who actually fill them. and. I suppose the people that they represent. So it can be me as a teacher, maybe in education would be my backing and what I definitely would look at an inclusion. Um, as I look around, I know Emily would sit here, she's got three, you know, children that, and a farming background and, you know, a business owner. Um, if you look over, I suppose there are people involved in rural communities people who are retired, who have a lot of time to give. Um, we have engineers, we have barristers. You know, there are such a diverse business community as well in the background and in the mix that are really adding to, you know, local people just dropping in maybe and saying, oh, can you help me out or meeting us on the street or out in the community. And all of those viewpoints are really shaping a more rounded community for us here in the council. And that certainly taught me a lesson that uh, there are other people with other abilities and disabilities and they have to be considered. And I think uh, probably uh, over the years as uh, when you hear another view, uh, it's important to hear it because when you hear it from a person that you're looking at, it does make a difference. And, and I, think we're, I think we're seeing a change. The more people interact with politics and with local government, um, the next generation will come along and say, well, that can be me there and I'll run. And, um, you know, and there's, you know, and people do want change. The people that we need in this chamber, irrespective of colour, creed, religion, or opinion, certainly we welcome them. And there is a place for you here. I think good moral judgment is actually more important than anything else. Like if you are a good, decent person who wants to see things being done right and right by people, then uh, you're you're you know you're suitable for the job. I think it's it's, it's very important to say that um, the the office of as a county councillor, it's it's a it's a public office. You're a public representative, so it's up to to anybody to get involved and you too could make, make a change, you too could become a county councillor and you too could bring forward your motions to make a change to help your neighbours, to help your friends, to help your community.